Washington still does most of its official work on paper. For example, this week the folks at the government printing office have been hard at work printing copies of President Obama's first budget. Thousands of employees at GPO print, bind, and design the handbooks, guidelines, instruction manuals, and other important documents that help run the federal government. A lot of our work is done primarily for the Hill and for the president. Meet Peter James. He's a London native who moved to the U.S. at age 21, eventually became a U.S. citizen, and 10 years ago joined the GPO. He's now a head forwarder, meaning he builds, marbles, and decorates important government books like the records of congressional debate and speeches, blue ribbon commission reports, the U.S. code, and those boxes and folders that hold the bills signed by President Obama. Although my name's not on it, um, somewhere down the road, 200 years from now, when they pull books out of the archives on debates upon the Hill, they're going to go, look, they were still marbling in the 21st century. Marbling dates back centuries as accountants used it to make sure nobody ripped pages out of their financial records. The House and Senate still order marbled books from the GPO to write down the records of floor and committee debates. The books have to look exactly like the ones first used more than 200 years ago. Peter prepares a mixture of water, fish glue, ox guile, and a naturally sticky substance called carrageenan. It's in toothpaste. It's an ice cream, like a food binder. Once the sticky mixture settles in a big case. tub, he uses a paintbrush to flick drops of acrylic paint onto the surface. Then he combs through the mixture to create different designs. There's peacock, Italian, and nonpareil. You've got to have strong shoulders and steady hands to do this work. Few people can do it, and while it may look artistic, Peter doesn't think so. Art is, to me, something that uh, comes out of your brain. I can't draw worth diddly. I can't do that. But this is just time and patience. And that, I have a little of that. I work a lot by myself. I've seen photographs of finishers uh, lining up at their benches, maybe 25 finishers, and the same thing for forwarders. And um, now we have gone digital, so the amount of books that we do now have declined. And even if there is a lot of work, it's clear that Peter enjoys his job. You get to put your hands on a little bit of history. And that's, that's pretty cool. I really enjoy that. From the government printing office in Washington, I'm Ed O'Keefe. The Federal Eye with the Washington Post. One down, 16 to go. 17 is the order of this job.